Hello, happy believers. This painting of Jesus' left hand reminds me of Tomas and his disbelief that Jesus had risen from the dead and had appeared to his disciples in the flesh. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe and share. We will look at John chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. Jesus appears to the apostles. It was the first day of the week, and that very evening, while the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said to them. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so also I am sending you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from anyone, it is withheld. Reflection So here we have the disciples hiding away, full of fear in case the Jews would find them. They feared for their lives, as it was just after the crucifixion. Peter, being fearful already, just a few days previous, denied he even knew Jesus. Suddenly, Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you, and straight away showed them his wounded hands and feet to take all disbelief away from them. They knew straight away then it was Jesus, as God had sent him, Jesus, to proclaim the good news, Jesus said he is now sending them to proclaim the good news, but first he had to give them the Holy Spirit to help them. And the good news was, if you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from anyone, it is withheld. Jesus started his ministry in Matthew Chapter 4, verse 7. From that time, Jesus began to preach his message. Turn away from your sins because the kingdom of heaven is near. Or repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Or Jesus started preaching, turn back to God. The kingdom of heaven will soon be here. Jesus' whole mission from start to finish, was all about repentance and always will be. Peter had first-hand experience of what it was like to receive forgiveness from Jesus, the relief and joy that can be experienced, the sad scenario about Judas who committed suicide after his betrayal of Jesus, is that he never asked for forgiveness. And because Jesus is full of mercy, Judas would have been forgiven straight away. We continue to read, Jesus appears to Tomas. Now Tomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails have been and put my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were once again inside the doors, locked, and Tomas was with them. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus said to Tomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Tomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, 
you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Reflection There was no way that Tomas was going to believe his friends that Jesus had appeared to them. He wanted proof first. He is a sceptic, like a lot of people who refuse to believe without direct personal experience. Unless Tomas got proof, he would never believe. There are a lot of Tomases around today. Then Jesus appeared and invited Tomas to look at his wounds and to touch them. Jesus said, Stop doubting and believe. It was then that Tomas immediately believed and said, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it explains what faith is. Now, faith is the assurance, title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by physical senses. Examples of these are receiving Holy Communion and are sitting before the Eucharistic Jesus, who is fully present and alive before us, and believing it by faith. As Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not yet seen and yet believe. And to believe and to have faith is a wonderful blessing to have going through life. I often think it must have been very difficult for the disciples to take in and to grasp all what Jesus was saying. It was all new and nothing like this was talked about before. They were present for loads of miracles which would have been a great experience and would have helped them to deepen their faith. But when it came to Jesus talking about the Eucharist, the Resurrection, the Holy Spirit, etc., it must have been very difficult, as it would have been way beyond their own limited imagination. Everything happened as Jesus said, and then they were able to look back and say, now we know what Jesus was talking about. And when they were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit after Pentecost, they did exactly what Jesus asked them, as they knew he was the Messiah and the Saviour of the world. We continue to read on. The purpose of John's book. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that, by believing, you may have life in his name. Reflection Today it is way easier for us to have faith in Jesus. We have all the disciples' writings, the Bible, books, studies, internet at our fingertips, social media, theology, catechism, worldwide worldwide apparitions, Eucharistic miracles. We have everything going for us, but still people get stuck. And I think the two main reasons are, one, as Jesus said, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. For a lot of people, seeing is believing, and faith does not work that way. It is the opposite, believing, then seeing. Jesus number two, Jesus began to preach his message. Turn away from your sins because the kingdom of heaven is near. Or repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Or Jesus started preaching, turn back to God, the kingdom of heaven will soon be here. There was a time when people saw God 
as a God of fear and a God of judgment. There was a time when people saw God as a God of love. Now there is a time where we think God loves us so much we can do what we want. And Jesus says, turn back, the kingdom of heaven will soon be here. Meaning, if we turn back to God, everything will change. And if we start to live under his kingship, then peace will reign on earth. But it's our own individual choice. Here are some, here are a few Bible verses. John chapter 16, verse 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Philippines chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 5, 10 We were God's enemies, but he made us his friends through the death of his son. Now that we are God's friends, how much more will we be saved by Christ's life? Please like, subscribe and share so we can all live our wonderful Catholic faith together in all its richness. Next painting, very, very soon, watch this space. Until then, remember, turn back to God.